Hey everybody, it's Brian, and what I thought I'd do today is show you how to effectively prospect for sale by owner leads and turn those leads into clients. Now, my approach is a little different than a lot of other agents out there, but it is very effective. So let's get started. To begin, what we do is we open up the Real Estate Data Exchange and we download our for sale by owner leads. Now, if you're not using this tool, I highly recommend it. In fact, there is a link underneath this video if you want to check, out, check it out, get a little bit more information, and also get a discount on their service. Click that link. But anyway, this is the, the Real Estate Data Exchange, the Red X, and what they do is they give you for sale by owner leads, withdrawn leads, expired listing leads, pre and current foreclosure leads. And the benefit to this, especially with for sale by owner, is you get all the information about the property at your fingertips. You don't have to spend a half hour combing through Craigslist and finding out that half of the, uh, the for sale by owner listings are actually posted by agents. So this is a great tool. What we're going to do first is import the leads from the last couple of days. So we're going to click import. And off to the right here, we're going to import the Red X for sale by owners. We're going to click uh, go ahead. And then we're only going to import two days worth of information because I don't want this to take a long time. And I've already done an import uh, over the last couple of days. So next. And <clears throat> looks like we've got 13 new leads that have come in over the last two days. So I'm going to hide that and show you what the what information you're getting. Now, off to the left here is a, uh, a legend that shows you what all these symbols mean. But what this means is the, uh, the unopened envelope means you haven't looked at it. If it's open, that means you have. The X is the do not call list. So for these leads, what you want to do is you want to contact them by email or by door knocking because It'll be very expensive if you pick up the phone, dial it, and they complain. It's a $10,000 fine. If the listing ha or the lead has a, a picture associated with it, they include the picture. The date that was imported, that's today. Contact information or information. And then this is the date that these, the uh, for sale by owner classified was posted on the number of databases that the Relax looks at. So these were on the 13th, these were on the 12th, 11th, 10th, all the way back down, the location of the property. So. <coughs> What we're going to do is we're going to look at this uh, this listing right here. Now, once we open this, this is the information that the uh, the for sale by owner Red X system provides, and this is great because now you don't have to hunt around to get the information. It gives you the address, the phone number, the contact information, the lead ID. Um, here's the phone number, and it is a valid phone number that you can call picture of the property, which is great if you're out looking for the property because you want to drop off a pre-listing packet. And then if you go down, this is the actual classified uh, listing. So you can go through and take a look at that. Now, with the Red X, if you wanted to use it as just a standard tool, it actually does come with built-in scripts. You just dial, put it into your auto dialer, and then actually start, uh, start reading the script. But what we're going to do is a little bit different. Now, because this particular lead has a phone number that's valid, what I like to do is act like the prospect is already my customer. So instead of calling up and saying, hey, I'm a realtor, I'd like to sell your home, or hi, I'm a realtor, I have buyers in the area, and I'd like to bring them by, what I do is I call up and say, hey, listen, I'm an agent in the area and I'm looking for buyers. Would you mind if I created a video tour of your property, posted it online, and maybe I could find you a buyer, and the people don't buy from you, maybe they could become my client. Now the benefit to me is I may get some clients out of it. The benefit to you is that you're gonna have a video online, highly ranked on YouTube and Google, that features your property. So it's a better way for you to get some additional exposure. Now, when people get this offer, there is some skepticism. You do have to overcome that. But generally, I'd say 70% of the time, the response is, sure, knock yourself out. At which point you say, great, when is a good time for me to come by and photograph your property? Now, they say, well, I've got some pictures. I can send those to you. You say, that's fantastic. But what I like to do is show the property in the very best light. So I'd like to take my own pictures. Um, can I stop by? And that way you get an appointment and you get through the door. Now, <clears throat> once you get through the door, once you get your appointment with the, the prospect, the next thing to do is to give them tools 
that make you invaluable to them even though they're not yet, yet your client. So one of the ways you can do that is you can come in and say, hey listen, I noticed the, uh, the sign on the front door is really just kind of those, one, those old, dated, old-fashioned, for sale by owner signs. Now, the people that are going to call those are going to be um, the people looking for houses to flip or realtors. Is that your experience? Nine times out of ten it is. Hey, let, listen, what I can do is let's put a, a more professional looking sign in your front lawn <clears throat> and that way you'll get a little bit more attention to your house. It'll stop the realtors from calling. Would that be a benefit to you? If that is, great. And when I say more professional looking sign, what I like to do is you go out to your sign company, the same one you use to print your own signs, and just have a for sale by owner sign printed. Leave a wide open area so that you can put in the phone number and actually add your picture and contact information on the bottom because it is your sign. Now, once you've done that, be very explicit with your lead and say, hey, listen, the reason I'm doing this is, one, I want you to find a buyer. Two, anybody who doesn't want to buy your house, I'd like them to, do, them to become a client of mine. But as part of my license as a realtor, I can't interfere with another agent's listings. So if you decide to list this home, my only request is you let me interview for the job. And if I don't get it, you tell me immediately so that I can take down the video, I can take down the sign, and I can take offline all of the marketing tools that I'm putting in place because that actually violates my license if it's someone else's listing. Are you okay with that? <clears throat> Nine times out of ten, they say, yes, great, put the sign in my yard, create my video, do all this great stuff for me. Now, over the next couple days, what you want to do is continually follow up, find out how they're doing, find out what uh, what's working, what's not, what are what's going on with the phone calls, ask if you can follow up with any of the calls, any of the sign calls that they've received, and start acting like their agent. <clears throat> Each conversation, make sure you hit a pain point, make sure that you, uh, you ask them how they like having to keep the house clean 24-7 for people to just drop by, ask them how many other agents have, have called, and gradually nurture them into becoming a lead. It's that simple. So that's the process if you have the phone number and can get them to pick up the phone, which is a challenge in and of itself. Now, <clears throat> what if they don't have a number that's uh, publicly available? What if they're on the do not call registry? Then what you do is you go back into your for sale by owner listing with uh, the Red X, and you look at the photo URL to find where the classified site was that they uh, they pulled this information from. In this instance, it's KSL, which is a local classified listing site. Now, the Red X pulls from a number of different databases, so this is the easiest way to find out where this uh, this classified posting was. So what you do is you go on that website, you uh, search for a couple keywords here. In this instance, it's probably going to be Gina or 2994. 2295 square feet, whatever it is, find that listing and then use that website to send them an email. The email would say something very similar. Hey, would you mind if I created a video featuring your website to see if I couldn't help you get you a buyer? And make sure that you disclose that you are a real estate agent. If they reply yes, great. If they don't, we can move on. As of uh, yesterday, we have 13 leads to work through and that number grows every single day. So this is Brian Nelson with MyTopProducer.net. Hope you found this uh, video interesting. And tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to create that video tour and how to provide those marketing tools to your FISBOs so that, um, well, so that they become your listings.